Hello, welcome to ArtureToursOnline.com. My name is Paul Priestley and today we're going to be exploring creative drawing. We're going to be using one of these, a stick with a piece of graphite on the end, so you've got little control over the line. We're using a pencil, a chunk of graphite, and we're using bottles as our theme. So we're going to explore shape, patterns and lines. We're going to be using three bottles. And the idea is not simply just draw the bottles as we see them, but we're going to draw them from different angles, different positions, and we're going to draw them on top of each other. I'm going to be using my long stick again to do the drawing, so I have less control over the line. So let me make a, a start. My big bottle here, you see, so I'm going to come round here in this. Now, you're not going to get exactly the same shapes. You're not going to be able to do this very, very accurately. And that is the whole point. It's the quality of this line that we want to see. So we're going to start near the other one up here. Look, you see? Ooh, it's gone off a little. Ah, looks good though. Oh, it's going to come over this one. Look. Yeah, see? Bring in. I've exaggerated the bottle a little bit. There we go. Look, see? the line's come across. And I might have my other bottle my other wine bottle here you see i've got my other one on the top here got like curves down Ooh, right down here curves along see Ooh, down here this one's got a label on it too okay i might also draw the bottle from the base you see looking right down on top of it there you see so all i can see then is the the top there look so i might draw the other one maybe from an angle here this one here just to give it a little bit curve there look oh i'm seeing on top of it same as that. Okay. all right we're going to leave that one there and we're going to develop this further using a piece of graphite a 2b pencil and a 6b pencil now we've got some nice interesting lines here but they're very thick and they're very loose because they've been uh, drawn with a stick. I'm just going to go around a few of these lines here, but this time I'm pressing on quite hard and I might put in a little bit more detail. I can come round the outside here, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to not follow the correct shape. You see, so I'm coming right down here and I might stop there. And with this one here, I might again put a little bit more detail in. You see, just a few little turns. But this time, I might take the line right off the page. You see? So I'm getting a sense of verticality. It's a good word, isn't it? To the, the drawing. I might start off here. And I'm going to bring this line in. And I'm just following some of these lines here. Just begin to, just to, because this line is so much stronger than the others. You see, you can bring it down, wobble it a little bit as you come down and it produces an interesting shape and design. We'll take another vertical, I think. Um, this time we might start maybe down here, and I'm going to come up here. I'm coming along this side here. I might go around my circle, coming along here, and come to the middle. I might take a little bit of detailing on there and take it off the paper again. I'm going to start using my graphite on its edge, so this time I'm going to come around here and I'm pressing on really hard around the edge of my graphite, producing an edge, but I'm also producing a nice piece of shading. You see what I'm doing? And it gives that nice soft sort of feel to the edge. I'll bring it down here, you see, down here as well. It gives that nice sort of softness, almost a feel a little bit like some of the bottles that uh, Picasso and Braque used to experiment with way back in the early 1900s. We'll go into the middle and this time I'm going to put in just a few more little details. Um, I might put, for example, just a few little suggestions of what might be writing on here, but I'm not going to do the writing, I'm just going to leave it. Similarly around here as well, you're coming around the edges and leave that. I'm going to suggest that there might be a corner of a table. I'm going to come up to about here, I'm pressing on hard with my graphite, I'm using the graphite as you can see on its side, and I'm going to come down at an angle. With something like this, it's created a diagonal across the piece of that, but you could also take a line from here as well. I'm going to do this with my left hand now, just so you can see what I'm doing. But I'm going to come up along here again. I'm pressing on very hard along the edge of my graphite. But then I'm going to curve it round. And I think we'll touch it here. So right to this edge here and 
up. So it's beginning to give us a really nice sort of effect. And this is also suggesting other things that we may do. I've now got an area here which maybe I could exploit, you know, with a very fine line. See, sometimes when we do two lines together, it makes it the line look that little bit more interesting. I think we could possibly do maybe just a hint of shadow down here. Then I could perhaps a shadow right down here. You see, various... I'm just suggesting these shapes. I could suggest a long curve along there. You see, it's, I'm pressing on very hard with a graphite. It produces very sharp, very dark section here. The problem now is that the, your eyes are going to focus on that a little bit. So we may need to counterbalance that, possibly with a little bit maybe about here. But not the other part of the bottle. Try something a little bit different. So we're going to take a section just here. Look, focusing just on that little element there. So you've just got to be experimental with this. You just take the line across here as well. So we're beginning to get some really interesting effects on here. You can see, we've gone around. And I might even take another line now down here. See, curve a little bit here, but come down this line, and then curve up. You may introduce just one or two other little elements, just to give a little bit of uh, emphasis on just a little touch of pattern. So you might just put a little bit of pattern on one or two of these areas here, just to give the drawing a little bit of focus. You might introduce a slightly different line, broken line, perhaps. You might use line to suggest a flatness here. Let's see. Um, you could use the top of this bottle. I'm going around this line here, top of my bottle, but now I'm going to use a very, very faint line and just go round and round and round and round, as you can see here. And finally, I think we might just do a little line, a suggestion of sort of three-dimensional shapes here, by just suggesting a little bit of line, but just coming down here. And you might even finish off by bring it down here. You can just develop these drawings as you will. You've got to use your imagination. Try to get a variety of lines, a variety of marks, a variety of tone, so you can create some really interesting effects. Remember you can focus just on certain areas, you see, by just exaggerating the, the tone in maybe just a sweep around here. So this area is just that little bit stronger and you can produce some interesting ideas. Okay, we'll leave it there. My name is Paul Priestley, you've been watching ArtureToursOnline.com. If you've enjoyed the video, then please subscribe to my channel. If you've really enjoyed the video, then perhaps you could share it with your friends. Thank you.